Hey, what's up, Lycans? It's Ollie here. We're diving in today with episode two of our Captain Hindsight series. I'm going to try something a little different this time. Um, the last video felt a little bit vague to me. So we're going to focus on a few specific points in each episode that I'm hoping will help you guys out. So this video, we're going to look at how to deal with someone getting on your ship with a keg. We're going to talk about the importance of audio cues in the game. So if we take a look at this video, this was actually captured um, while I was doing some footage for the Skelly Fleet Guide that we put out. I'll uh, drop the link above if you're interested in that. And what we noticed, I mean, a storm come over, so it wasn't ideal anyway. So if we just play this video now, we noticed an audio cue that the cannon fire coming from somewhere didn't sound quite right for NPCs. So if we just play that back... You'll notice now if you listen to the cannon shots. You can hear there, there's way too many cannons going off to be normal. So, shoot over, and there they are. So, we've got a sloop on the other side of this rock that we're parked behind. Um, not ideal at all so we need to get rid of them we're in a storm we're in the middle of a skelly fleet we're trying to record footage for another video so we're distracted um, I try and get aboard here it doesn't go well all I'm gonna point out is a flick to the right in a second as I shot over Hendy who's a good crewmate of mine opt to jump onto the skelly galleon over there to protect our ship now what I really should have done before shooting off like this was thought a little bit ahead. You probably noticed it as we were looking at their ship, but there's a keg in their crow's nest. So if you ever if you ever go to board, um that's a horrible scene to pause on. If you ever go to board, the first thing you want to do is have a look at their crow's nest. Uh to check if they've got a keg. If they've got a keg up there and you've got a sniper, you can quite easily disable their ship really quickly. Not long started practicing with the pistol i couldn't hit this shot for the life of me but if i'd have had a sniper i'm relatively confident i could have hit this shot so we should see him over this uh, wave in a sec then we'll um, we'll have a quick look at that keg so there it is there you can see it i spot it at this point there she is but we have no joy it's just too much with these waves with a pistol. Good tries, but no good. Um, I'm just going to jump us ahead. A touch. So we're back on our ship. We're getting ready now. This is the main thing. This is... What I spot in a minute is that the keg is gone from their crows. And he's going off for a board. No more keg in the crow's nest. We chuck the sniper on, but it's gone. Gives us a really good indication that they're going to try and board us with that keg. We're getting our anchor up just in case we had the anchor down while we were collecting loot. So we're going to get ourselves with the possibility of being mobile. We're in a storm, which is just an utter nightmare. I'm going to jump a tiny bit ahead in this video. All right, okay. So there he is. He's with the keg. There's a really important thing to note when people board with kegs. The most important thing is you stay alive. You're better off letting that keg detonate, in my opinion, so that you're alive to save the ship um, than you are defusing the keg because then you've still got a keg on your ship. You'll still have an enemy on your ship. In my opinion, nine times out of ten, people board with a keg, they'll kill themselves. So you want to get yourself far enough away from the keg that it's not going to kill you and then you can react you can save the ship you just watch here now keg goes off we've hardly took any damage straight down get rid of the enemy grab a bucket always grab a bucket before you do anything 
So we've delayed our si ship sinking by a small amount. Now we've got Sophie straight onto repairs. I'm going to bucket for her while we're panicking and start getting us mobile again. But the key thing there is we didn't panic about the keg. We didn't run at the keg. We didn't run at the guy holding the keg. I've seen that so many times where I'll get on with the keg and they just run at me and hit it. So they die and I die. But if they die, the ship's going down. Just to give you a, a small example of that, here's a video where I get on a keg he with a keg. He diffuses it and it still doesn't go to plan for him at all. I'm getting on. So in this clip, he's diffused the keg. It's still there. I mean, I nearly yeah. killed myself, nearly but that guy's it. dead now. He picked it up and diffused it. He's That's got five, four or five holes at the front of his ship. He's done. But yeah, key thing to remember, if you see a keg on your ship, just get away from it. Survive the explosion. If you need to jump off, jump off. If you're dead, you can't do anything to save your ship. If you're still alive, at least you can try and do something to keep your ship alive. Nine times out of ten, the enemy will kill themselves with the keg. If they don't, you can always grab a bucket on the way down, fight them. You can't do anything if the keg kills you. So at this point, Hendy boarded them to try and distract them. He actually shot their mast down there. So if you get on a ship, if you straighten up on a brig, I think it's main mast on a sloop, it's the only mast. You get it straight, aim the cannon directly up. You can shoot a chain shot in the air. You can take their mast down. So Hendy's done a good job over there disabling their ship. He did get killed, but he's bought us plenty of time to repair our ship and recover, which is the most important thing he could have done for us at that point. get comms from Hendy just to get over there which is another important thing he's told me what's going on we're grabbing a bucket and that's it we're going our main priority now is getting rid of that ship so we can carry on making other YouTube videos let's just see how this goes with this board as far as I remember it went relatively well Right. Just going to play that a little bit back because I was chatting over it happening. Whenever you're boarding, you're listening for what's going on on the ship. Let's just take that back just a touch and you can hear. You listen now, when we approach the ship, you can hear someone underneath repairing. And again, as we board. That's a really important thing to know, is that we knew what they were doing. We've got a 2v1 on our hands. Thankfully, they managed to knock themselves off the ship, making it a 1v1. She's done it again. We got real lucky here. But in fairness, the ship is glitching all over the place. I can't get off the stairs there. It's, it's such a mess in this situation, but... You gotta deal with these situations sometimes. Never be ashamed just to launch blunder bombs around if you need to. Again, knocked off. And there we go. We've now got control of that ship. Endy's back on the skeleton ship. So let's just look at that here. You can see in the corner there. He's on there, he's keeping the skeletons off cannons so that we can keep repairing, keep our ship alive. That's a really important trick and it's a good, can't recommend enough getting in with a crew you're gonna play with all the time. So if you've seen I'm over here on their ship, he's now on their ship, on the galleon. Um, fingers crossed, we can get some cannon shots off, which is what he does. We're taking their supplies, we're using their food, we're going to use their cannons, we're going to use their blunder bombs. There you go. And he's got an angle now on this ship, using what he's got to his advantage. 
put a few holes into this sloop. We've got the guys back in now. What they're going to do, they're going to go down there. Okay, this is an interesting thing. This goes one of two ways. A really good tip on a sloop. You can sword lunge this distance from the bottom of the stairs to the back of a sloop pretty easily. And you can strafe as long as you're holding block when you charge your sword lunge. Sword lunge you can strafe left and right. We're trying to spot where he is. We get him. Two hits, he's down. Now, thankfully, the little skelly galleon is helping us out there, putting a few more holes in. Hendy's just down there in the water. And he nicely comes to the rescue. I don't know how that happened. I got hit with a jig ball. She did not. And there we go. Hendy, the original Captain Hindsight himself to the rescue. This, this sloop is done at this point. Priority now is to get back to our ship and uh, carry on making our skeleton fleet guide. And he's going for the galleon. Just waiting for backspawn. We've got one in. Not straight off. Gone. They're sunk. Now that guy that got knocked off is going straight for our ship. I'm going to try and get over there as quickly as possible. Underwater fights, um, highly recommend a sniper. Pistol can be good. Ideally, what I really should have done, and I'm, I'm terrible for this, if you know your fight's going to go underwater after a sink, switch to uh, double gunning. I prefer a pistol and a sniper myself. Your sword is just... Sword fights underwater are just a nightmare. So really what I should have done was, when I knew there wasn't going to be a backspawn um, up to the next fight, I should have just died below the uh, down to second deck, swapped out my sword for a pistol, and then got ready for the underwater fights for the backspawns. Now that's it for today. Um, hopefully it's been helpful. I know getting kegged on your ship is, is an issue we all face sometimes, you know. Hopefully we can hit the keg on the ship, really. Quite have been forward thinking enough. And with my um, with my Captain Hindsight hat on, I should have just changed from my pistol to a sniper before I shot out the cannon to see what was going on. I might have been able to disable them straight away, set a keg off, get a sink a lot earlier and a lot easier. But that's why we have Captain Hindsight to point these things out. So I hope this video has been useful to you guys. If, um, if you like this new layout where we're focusing on a few bits, let me know in the comments below. Uh, drop a subscription to the channel if you enjoy the content. It's really helpful. As always, stay safe and we'll um, see you on the seas.